Stars shining bright above you Night breezes seem to whisper I love you Birds singing in the sycamore tree Dream a little dream of me Welcome Kindreds, it's Jessica the Story Witch and I have received some post. My May witch casket has arrived and I was going to open it and share what's inside for you guys. So I've turned the camera around and let's get the box open. Like I said, this is my second witch casket. I actually heard about this on Instagram from Naomi Robinson, somebody who I follow on there. And she kept posting gorgeous pictures of the things that she was getting in her box. And I was like, I really... I looked a kind of a couple of years ago and there was hardly anything and now it does seem to be a lot more choice. So it says May's witch casket is all about the powerful, passionate and protecting element of fire. Please remember to read the enclosed list of contents so you can familiarise yourself with this month's items and our specially selected suppliers and see important safety information. So I'm not actually going to look at the list of contents because I want to see it, but I will look at it then after, once I kind of pulled everything out. Beautifully packed again. Ooh. <laughs> okay. There is always some art in the box. And that was one of the things I kind of liked about this box, is that there's like a list of the kinds of things that it's going to include. So there is always some art. Um, it... So like they'll say like there'll be some art, there'll be, well what's it say? Um, there's always like some incense, there's always I think um, a candle, you know, basically you get what I'm saying anyway. It's like a kind of list of what is going to be in here, but then the exact specific things are different each, each time, which is really cool. So that is gorgeous. Tiny tea drinker. <laughs> I love that so I'll have to look up who that is by in fact should I do that now in case I forget to do it at the end so so tiny tea drinker is the person that is from I bet you can find them on Instagram which I'll be doing later on <laughs> so I'll pop that just there for a second and then tea cake art I had one last time the crystals one from this well that, that's not in this box that was from the last box and then this one for the fire um, is the cauldron, which is really nice. Feels kind of like, almost like it might be a sticker or something, but maybe it's just a bit thicker cardstock. There we go. And then there is Inner Strength Charm Bag Kit. Do you know, I'm going to pop that to one side just for a second um, and open that, because these are normally like whole kind of... Um, I suppose spell kit but <laughs> it's kind of like something you can create you know so um, I'll come back to that in a moment pop that there um, oh I thought it was a magnet but it's a mirror fire burn and cauldron bubble <laughs> how cool is that sorry the light's shining on it there not very good okay break here to Jasper which is so weird actually because I have I didn't have, I had some Jasper, but I didn't have any particularly breakated Jasper up until this year when I had a dream, I know I've talked about this in a video before, I had a dream about a particular stone and in the dream there was like, um, there was like a spiral being drawn round and, round and round and round and round and round and round this particular stone and then I went on Etsy and found the exact stone from my dream <laughs> and bought it obviously. And since then, I've been kind of collecting bits of Brachiated Jasper, which is really, really cool. It's obviously an energy that I need at this particular time in my life. So that is really coincidental, some might say, or I don't believe... Well, I suppose I do believe in coincidences, but I don't believe that this is a coincidence. Uh, use Brachiated Jasper as a worry stone to take advantage of its calming and nurturing properties. It's believed to provide focus and mental clarity to its holder. And that uplifting stone, it may help to decrease stress and help you become more organised, which I think is why um, it's also really useful for like harnessing your creativity. So rather than like kind of being creative but not ever kind of finishing projects, I think that is the reason why I was drawn to it. So it is, it is 
helping me to actually finish <laughs> to make things and put them out into the world not just do the kind of making but never actually releasing because then you always kind of get stuck you know you create 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 but then it's also kind of trapped in in within and unless you can release it it's almost like getting kind of creative constipation which I'm trying to very much release this year which is part of my word of the year as well I kind of emerge bringing myself and the things that I make and do out into the open so yeah break here to Jasper has been really helpful to me for that and this is a gorgeous example of it some really lovely patterning in that stone and it is a kind of good size to probably it's a little bit big I guess but it would fit into some of the bigger wire cages and things so that's really nice what have we here a little offering bowl feels too light to be copper I don't know maybe if it's very very thin copper or tin obviously got a copper finish on it so that's interesting in a little bag <laughs> there always seems to be so much in these boxes like that's why I've seen these photos so there's some charcoal discs for using you know for burning incense and stuff so I expect there's gonna be some incense in here and there's always tea, that was one of the things that is always in here. So this is black loose leaf tea, Rose Congo. Oh wow, that sounds interesting. <laughs> I love tea. So, and they've, okay. So Dragon's Fire Incense Combs. Transport yourself to a land of mystery and calm with this unique blend of hot perfumes created by Dragon's Fire. And the smell from those is, smells really, really good. Um... So yeah, that's obviously what the charcoal discs are for, and I guess that's what this is for as well, so you can burn them safely, um, which is a nice little feature. I'm excited, because I've been thinking about getting... I've, I've been focusing in my... If you watch my bullet journaling videos, um, I have been focusing on water drinking as one of my habits, and we've got a filter tap in our house, which is amazing because we don't have to buy bottles anymore, which was one of the things I hated, buying bottled water and things like that. So I know I could just drink normal tap water, but I just don't really like the taste of it. So we've got a filter fitted to our tap now. But what I'm finding is it's hard to kind of keep track of how much I've actually drunk. And sometimes, because it's not like a there, like with a bottle, you can visually see it and you're like, oh yeah, I should drink that now. You know, you just kind of do it. Whereas when you've got to go to the tap and fill a glass, it doesn't always have that same... So this actually could really, even though it's not very fiery to fill it with water, <laughs> um, this would be a really good way to, it's insulated actually I think, so you could probably put hot drinks in them and they would stay hot, which would be pretty cool. And there's a little straw hole in the lid, so it would also be really cool for smoothies and things as well. Uh, it kind of explains a little bit about it in here. And if you've seen my Macabre box unboxing, my last one, I had a little charging plate. I wonder if that's around. No, not around right here, right now. So I could even use those two things together to kind of charge up my water within here, which is really, really cool. So yeah, that's really nice. I've seen them include cups and mugs and things in the boxes before, which is a nice... It's nice because, like, the magic does permeate every pair of tongs how interesting <laughs> charcoal tongs which is handy because I tend to use like the end of my long match to stab around my <laughs> which seems ridiculous but that would be far more elegant to use a pair of tongs to ruffle things around a little bit another little pin badge fire element pin badge that's nice and there's still more <laughs> we're still going we are still going so these scrolls are, are usually like spells um, or information, so yeah, and the element of fire in magic, and explains a little bit about that. Specific fire spells, yeah, and yeah, just general information about kind of you, and they are kind of just like information about what's in the box and how you can use that in magic, really. So I don't really use these, but it's kind of they are cute, and especially if you were just kind of starting out on the path. It'd be nice to kind of collect these all together. That would be a cool collection. Ah, there's the straw for my lovely cup. And that's cool as well because I've recently bought some straw um, 
cleaners, you know, like little brushes that go down inside straws because I don't like to buy throwaway straws, especially plastic ones. I do still buy paper ones sometimes because my kids really love to use straws. But um, the reusable ones are obviously so much better for the environment. And But the problem was is they do get really gungy. So now I've got little brushes, especially for cleaning out straws. Yes, I am that sad. <laughs> Okay, and we're still going, and there is, oh, there's a necklace. Let's have a look. This is from Curiology, who I think made the little gorgeous pin badge, actually, that was in the last bag. And appropriately on a red. And I guess because we're coming into, because we're in summer now, um, that's why we're going fire element. And it's just a little cauldron. <laughs> That's really kind of cute. Usually I tend to like layer these things up, so I'd probably keep that on here. And maybe even if I put the break it Jasper into a cage, um, that would layer up really nicely with that. And I might even be tempted to kind of add maybe a woman rune symbol or something to this as well, which would be really kind of personalizing it and making it, especially if I'm gonna use it for um, a specific magical purpose rather than just as jewelry. Um, yeah, so that's really cute. And we're still going. There's still more stuff in here. What is this? Okay, so this is a little calendar, which is cute. It says a secret history of witches. Oh, so it's a, um, I think it's actually advertising for a novel. Maybe a secret history of which is a novel by Louisa Morgan, a deeply satisfying and magical work of great craft. Okay, so I haven't actually seen that, so that's probably out, I guess. And then on the back, it's got your summer 2018 pagan and Wiccan calendar and information about the different things. So um, the different tree months and moons and things like that. So that's a nice touch as well for the summer. Lovely, and I think that is actually it now. But it's not because I didn't actually open this. So should we do that? <laughs> the Inner Strength Charm Bag Kit. I love how these are sealed up. And if I was going to use them for working, I probably would only open them once I was actually in. Do you know, I'm going to move this out of the way so that I can just open this here now in this space. Oh my gosh. I can smell... Yeah, there's definitely, it smells a bit like lavender actually in there. Okay, so what have we got? Inner strength charm bag. Okay, so we're making a little charm bag. And very appropriately red. This charm bag would give you a feeling of strength and confidence. Add the tiger's eye crystal. Oh, that's a pretty one as well. To the red satin pouch, along with the mulberries. Oh, mulberries. Is that what it was I could smell then? And the rosemary. Yeah, it was the mulberries I could smell. I was wondering, I was like, I can't quite place that smell. Mulberries and rosemary. You can also add any charms, amulets, pictures, or other items that represent strength to you. Uh, and you, as you add them, ensure you are thankful for the strength they will provide, intent and belief are key. Know that this powerful charm will bring strength to its holder. So that is kind of like obviously like a little spell kit in itself. So you can use that within, well, however you do your own circle casting. But I would probably do it within the circle, you know, make it up in there and really kind of charge up the different elements beforehand. But that is a really nice idea. And sometimes I can be... I like to think my practice is really streamlined and everything. <laughs> Although when I look around my room, I think actually, you know, I've got more stuff than I realise. But it's nice to have little things like that sometimes, even when you've been doing it a long time, because it does, it makes you do things that you would maybe not normally do. You think it pushes you, well, I suppose out of your comfort zone, because it's not like a particularly um, advanced thing. But it's, um, it's just something that, you know, I almost forget to do. So that is a lovely really lovely little kit. So I'm going to seal that back up and keep it until the time comes when I'm going to be using those ingredients. And I'll just kind of pop everything back into shot. I'll try to. Where can I put that? It's too big really for you to be able to 
to see it properly. And there's the tea and the tongs and the charcoal and the little burning dish and the incense. There's not enough room to fit it all in. And the scroll. Yeah, the scroll's just going to fit on the bottom there. And the cauldron pendant and the fire element badge. Where can that go there? Yep. And the brachiated jasper, which can go here. And the little mirror, which can go here. And that is pretty much it, apart from like the bump and stuff that comes with it. I'll pop that on the top there. Um, I'm just going to take a little photo. <laughs> and then I'll just have a little look through the list of contents just to make sure that I know what all of these things are. So the fire travel cup, um, and, and lots of these things are exclusive only to the casket as well. So you can't just buy these things from the shop generally. They're only included in the boxes, which is quite a nice touch as well. It does make it a little bit more special. So the inner strength charm bag kit, which is here, the fire element button badge, the cauldron necklace, which is from Curiology, the makers of those. The fire element parchment scroll, which is this. The cauldron pocket mirror. <laughs> the black loose leaf tea, which is from Tea Cakes of Yorkshire, because this this box is based in Yorkshire. Break it to Jasper Tumblestone and Info Card. A6 art print from Tiny Tea Drinker. Oh yeah, I didn't put the art prints back in. I was thinking there was something else. So there's this one. And there's also this one. So they need to be in there too. Uh, Dragon's Fire incense cones, yeah the incense. The brass, oh it's brass, it certainly doesn't feel like brass. Yeah, so make sure it's on a heat proof surface. It's very, very thin. Um, I probably, you know, I probably only use this like outdoors if you could put it on like a, on a rock or something really. Although it's very light, so it could also quickly get picked by the wind. It'd have to be quite sheltered. But it is, it's beautiful, isn't it? I do really like how it looks. It does not look or feel like brass. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, pack of three charcoal discs and charcoal disc tongs, which even though that is so kind of basic, that's gonna be really useful in many, many ways. Because like I said, I usually either use at the end of a match <laughs> Or sometimes even my fingers, which is a bit stupid to be kind of poke things around when uh, when I need to get the smoke going as, again. So, yes, very, very handy. And, yeah, so the, the Secret History of Witches postcard, which is obviously like kind of promotional, it says it's from Little Brown Book Group. So they're obviously promoting, they've probably paid them to include that in there, which is kind of cute. Because that is nice having the, the list on the back of things as well. And then just more information about where you can find which casket on Instagram and things like that. So that is my witch casket for me. I'm not sure when I'll get this video up, but um, it'll be too late obviously to subscribe for this particular box now anyway. But the boxes are always really lovely and I am going to be continuing with the subscription for a while at least because I've been really... I just love... Like there's some big things and some little things, there's some stones, there's some more like jokey things. It's a really nice combination of stuff and I can't believe I've talked about this for almost 20 minutes. <laughs> so thanks very much if you stuck with me this long. Warmest, warmest blessings guys. I'll obviously put the links for everything so you can see where to buy it from and everything down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Mm, da, da, da.